Friends, this video is running at two times of the real speed. This is a very interesting case. In this case, the you can see the cataract and it is only the nucleus. There is no epinucleus, no cortex. So, what has actually happened is this cataract had been a hypermature Morgagnian cataract sometime in the past. Over a period of time, the fluid, milky fluid got absorbed and now there is only the nucleus. So, my plan in this case is to do a small incision cataract surgery, not phacal emulsification because the genule may be weak and there is a lot of risk in such cases for doing phaco emulsification. Yes, it is possible to do phaco, but SICS is definitely a safer option in such cases. This is 6.75 millimeter incision. The incision is about 1.5 millimeter away from the limbus and this is the sclerocorneal tunnel. The inner incision is a little larger than the incision on the sclera. So, this is a funnel, a kind of incision. And now a side port is made at 9 o'clock. Tripe and blue dye is used to stain the anterior capsule. Now the dye is washed out. Now to do rexis, I take help of the of a needle. 26 gauze band needle. We can see some red glow from 12 o'clock. This is the capsular tag that is raised by this needle. Inject some more visco again and then use the Utrata forceps to complete the rexus. The rexus is done gently. And now I have to open the sclerocorneal tunnel. So I take the keratum go to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and open the tunnel. And now I prolapse the nucleus out of the capsular bag. At this time I take help of two hooks. Injected some visco behind the nucleus to protect the posterior capsule. Let's just take help of two hooks and bring it out of the capsular bag. Inject some visco. The wound size appears little less than the size of the nucleus. So, visco expression may not be possible. I am taking help of this fish hook, did not come out. So, I have to enlarge the wound a bit. I try to push the nucleus out through this wound. 
didn't work in this case. So I made one or two cuts on the right side of the wound and this time it may work. Introduce the fish hook again and this time the nucleus came out easily. Why fish hook? Why not irrigating vectus? Irrigating vectus will cause some pressure on the genule. I didn't want that. And now the capsular bag and antechamber is filled up with 2% HPMC and then a um, PMMA lens, polymethyl methacrylate intraocular lens, 6 millimeter optic is being implanted in the capsular bag. Leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and here the trailing haptic goes in the capsular bag and the lens becomes nicely centered. And now the visco is nicely washed out of the capsular bag as well as from the anterior chamber. case is almost done. Find that the, there is no leakage from the main wound. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And this is another lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. I check the integrity of the wound, there is no leakage. And now I place a releasable suture at the right end of the peritomy where I took a radial cut. This is subconjunctival injection of gentamicin and dexamethasone. The superiorities brittle suture is released, removed. And then the releasable suture is tight. Three loops, hold the thread and pull. Cut the threads and keep the thread, the one which will be pulled, I keep that thread little longer. This is a bit of moxifloxacin that the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases.